What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Vaughn, and I'm back week eight, the halfway mark of the season, and I'm back from Mr. Vaughn's sweat box locks of the week, Halloween weekend. I got a busy weekend, so I got to get this thing quick, and we got to keep it moving, but let's get into these games. We still got a great schedule of games for week eight. Let's get into it. Game one, Giants in Miami. Come on, man. Giants all day. Miami's 0-6 on... And they're on the road. Giants is going to get this. Giants is going to get this. I'm going to say 28 to 17. Houston, Jacksonville. Houston coming off that big win when they just destroyed Tennessee last week. Back-to-back, -back, <coughs> excuse me, back-to-back -back divisional games. This, this week they got Jacksonville. Jacksonville coming off an upset of their own as they beat Baltimore. Who would have saw that one coming? They ain't going to get that lucky this week. Houston's gonna get this one. I think they're gonna get it. It's gonna be a little. It's gonna be a little competitive. I think Houston gets this 27 to 20. So there you go. Arizona, Baltimore. <sighs> I'm sorry, Arizona. Baltimore's gonna get this. I'm not even gonna give y'all any hope. Baltimore's gonna get this. Um, yeah, I think Baltimore gets this 24 to 10. Uh, New Orleans, St. Louis. St. Louis, same for y'all too. It's gonna be a rough week for the AFC, for the uh, NFC West. Uh, New Orleans is gonna get this after they. They're not gonna put up 62 like they did on Indianapolis, but they'll put up 40, 41. They're gonna put up like 41 points on New Orleans. I mean on St. Louis. Uh, New Orleans gets this 41. St. Louis 20. I give them 20 points. Uh, Minnesota, Carolina. Uh, Christian Ponder actually played pretty well last week against the champions, but. Uh, Carolina's going to pull this off, man. Cam Newton, you guys know what Cam Newton's been doing, and I think he's going to keep it up. Uh, Carolina gets this one. I say 21 to 13. Uh, Tennessee, Indianapolis. I think Tennessee's going to rebound from that horrible loss last week, and I don't think Indianapolis is going to get off the snide yet. I think they're going to drop to 0-8. I think Tennessee gets this one 24 to 17. Detroit, Denver. Let me just say before I actually get into the actual game pick, I do predict that not, uh, and Dominic Sue is gonna um, is gonna get a really good hit on Tim Tebow, and he might get flagged for it. But I, it's my prediction before the score. I predict that Dominic Sue and that I predict that Dominic Sue is gonna smash Tim Tebow, and I also think the Detroit Lions are gonna win this game. Uh, I think they're gonna win it 30 to 21. I think Denver will be in it. Buffalo, Washington at Buffalo. Uh, Buffalo's going to win this. Uh, come on, man. John Beck, <laughs> he's laughable. Washington is going to lose. Buffalo's going to win. And I think Buffalo's going to get this one, uh, let's say, 27 to 20. So it'll be a little competitive, but not really. Cincinnati, Seattle. Come on, Seahawks. Charlie Whitehurst, you looked horrible last week. I mean, come on. Every opportunity to win that game. And I just want to go on record as saying <clears throat> that block in the back call that they made on Leon Washington's kick return was false. Come on, man. He was falling. I mean, come on. But I digress. Seattle's back home. Uh, Cincinnati's been playing well. Uh, but I don't think they're going to get it this week. There was... Uh, their running back is out. What's his name? I don't remember his name right now. Please forgive me. You guys know I'm usually good with names, but I'm, his name is completely skipping my mind right now. But he's out getting one game suspension. Um, they also got one of their one of their leaders on the defensive side is going to be out. Seahawks. Even though Chris, it, even though Charlie Ryder looks like he might get the start, uh, Marshawn Lynch should be back this week, and uh, I still think Seattle's going to get this. I think Seattle gets this 20 to 13. Uh, Cleveland, San Francisco. <sighs> as much as I want to say San Francisco is going to lose, I don't think they're going to lose. I, they're, they're at home coming off the bye. Cleveland barely, they looked horrible last week even though they beat us. They looked horrible. San Francisco is going to get this uh, 28 to 10. 
New England, Pittsburgh. These are the, these next two games are the two highlight games of the week. New England and Pittsburgh. New England on the road at Pittsburgh. Five and one New England. Five and two Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh three and zero at home. New England two and one on the road. I mean, come on. This is gonna be a game, and it's gonna be a tough one to call. New England's defense can't stop a nosebleed. Shouts out to my man Bart Scott. <laughs> But it's true. New England's defense is horrible. I think Pittsburgh is going to uh, put up some points. They're going to be able to put up some points. Will they be able to put up enough to beat Tom Brady? I actually think Pittsburgh's going to get this game. I do. I think Pittsburgh's going to win this and move to 6-2. and two. Uh, I think they get this 33-28. Dallas and Philly. Tony Romo sucks. So, once again, he will cost the Dallas Cowboys a game. And once again, all week, everybody's going to be talking about, oh, Tony Romo this, Tony Romo that. Tony Romo is not the truth, man. The sooner you guys understand that, the sooner you guys can go ahead and move on and look for a better quarterback. Michael Vick is going gonna, is gonna to torch the Dallas Cowboys. I'm predicting it. Say what you want. Eagles is two and four. They're not dead. They're gonna beat up on the Cowboys. Three and four is gonna. The Eagles is moving to three and four, and Dallas is dropping to three and four. There we go in a bunched up NFC East. Philly's gonna win this game, thirty to twenty-three. Holla at your boy. That's what's happening. In the Monday night game, Kansas City hosting San Diego. Shouts out to my Chiefs after dropping the first three. Then they came back and went three in a row. And now they in the mix, baby. They in the mix. San Diego went out to New York and lost a tough one to the Jets. Man, if they can win this, they're tied for first place in the division. The Chiefs. And they're at home against San Diego. Phillip Rivers does not really look like himself. Um, I want to, yeah, you can tell I want to pick Kansas City. I picked the San Diego Chargers last week to beat the Jets, and they let me down. I'm going to go ahead and pick Kansas City. I think Kansas City's going to pull it off. I think they got some momentum right now. Um, their defense is playing well. I think Kansas City's going to get this 21-17. to There you go. That's it. Week 8. We halfway through the season. Mr. Von Sweatbox Locks of the Week. Follow me on Twitter. Facebook.com slash Mr. Von. Just Google your boy, Mr. Vaughn. M-R period V-O-N. Mr. Vaughn. Y'all know how we do. Shouts out to the unofficial sponsor, Smokey Joe's. Y'all make sure to peep the Doug Flutie throwback. I'll keep it in vintage. Everybody have a happy Halloween. I'll get with y'all next week. Mr. Vaughn, Sweatbox Locks. Peace. Y'all be good.